It's your boy E. Tally back at it again. It is that time of the year of high school hoops. Again, I am E. Tally with Richard DeLeon, and we got this is Mike Daniel Jr. of Alamo City All Star Sports Plus. So supporting Super Sports Media. Subscribe, like, share for all of you that are chimed into this show and very focused on what we're doing. Subscribe, like, and share. Doesn't hurt anything. Well, Michael, thank you again for. Uh, it doesn't cost a dime. For doing that, that part of the admin, because that's the hard part of the show there, to get those to like, subscribe, and share, and also comment. Also comment. So we are hey, officially. Hey, hey Rich, that was Rich. That was a great Mike McCarthy impression of calling plays a little while ago. You just did. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and what, Did I miss something? Get get all get all your laughs now, because mm -hmm. prime time's coming to town, oh baby. Goodness. We're not going to start this. We're not no, going to no, do no, this. No, no, no. He started it. He we started are one it. weekend of basketball, <laughs> high school basketball. Uh, already rankings are set and changing already. He's talking about right now when I was acting like I was talking. Because. For those that don't know, we were having some technical difficulties. We have had technical difficulties. We'll, this will be a quick show. But let's go ahead and do like we always do. Michael, please uh, let us the audience know what's going on at that machine over there, the Sportsplex, the Alamo. No, nah. no, nah, I want to start off. I want to start off on fire. Why can't people read and comprehend? No, like no, you no, clearly no, put up a post. You clearly. Don't no, 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 no. Yes, yes, I am. Yes, I. Yeah. Gonna it's it's going to be professional. Go you put up a post that clearly stated these are before last night's games. Yes, New yes. rankings are coming out. So what's going and on? Everybody's still yeah, everybody's that. still blasting about like you clearly put that disclaimer out. Because I don't get it. There were two great games that happened and I really want to talk about those, but I want to make sure we get we do our admin, our house cleaning first. And then go we, right. We, we, let coach let coach cook. He's cooking right now. The Wagner. We're we're gonna get to that. Look, you know something Wagner. I learned. This type of stuff people love anyway. So let, let's get let's get let's get the people what they what what they want. And uh, nah, we, we gonna get there. Two, which was number eleven. We had them listed number eleven. Clemens versus TMI, which in TMI is number four, I believe. If I'm correct. Uh. Wow, what a game. What a game. Um, I got there late to cover that game. And, hey, all I'm going to tell y'all, that Coach Robert Bell, he got something special over there. He has his guys playing at a high pace. And I, I, I said, I'll say this again, and I'll publicly say it. At preseason, I will not ever do another preseason ranking ever again in my life. because Yes, man, you are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Hey, hey look, hey. look at, look, go look at Facebook right now. People I are losing wrong. their, 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 their I coaching shirt right now. It's okay. It's okay. That's the whole purpose of it. Let them lose their shirts. And, you know, again, the Holy Crosses of the world and the, uh, hey, coach, we made, we made a joke before you were on. I don't know if you could hear it. I said, ever since he started doing rankings, we lost subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> don't give people ideas. Hey, boy. Hey, <laughs> hey. you ought you ought to you ought to look you ought to look at the views we're getting though. Yeah. The yeah. views are good. Again, the rankings are good because again, the main thing we're talking about we're talking about our city. Yeah. We're bringing light to all of the teams. Again, um, we got some five A schools that possibly would never get any love. You know, we got the Jeffersons on there. We got the Davenports. We had Lavernia at one time. Uh, look, you, here, look, here's here's the thing for me, Tally. Is this like, remember me? You talked this morning, and we said there's gonna be somebody that we're gonna miss. 
well, you have to do this because now, yeah. now, now, Holy Cross is on the watch list, Chris Roche. We're going to be watching because November 21st, they see somebody that's on our list. They got to go through Alamo Heights. And they're ready. In all caps, they're ready, coach. Well, so that's, that's, so that's you have you have to keep doing these rankings because we're not going to be able to see everybody. We're going to miss oh, somebody. I said preseason because the preseason <laughs> where though again we we got to hey listen no I'm gonna say it I got it wrong about Clemens okay I got it wrong about Clemens because hey man preseason I did not see any of this I did not see the caliber of play I did not see the hustle I did not see the, the togetherness I did not see the execution. And for two games, back-to-back, and one in a hostile environment, those young men came out and play. Now, you, on the good – go ahead. Go ahead. What you want to say? That's called that's, that's called, called that's, the, the Robert Bell effect. Okay. Well, hey, listen. Robert Bell, Robert Bell asked his players to do two things, play hard and compete. That's all Robert Bell asked of his players. The rest will fall into place. That is the Robert Bell effect. Watching him do what he did was phenomenal. Again, two games. Two games. He asked his guys to play. Now, at, at the same time, they almost fumbled the bag. And I told him, I'm going to report about this part. They almost fumbled the bag. They, they were up by seven, I believe. Six or seven. And um, and they got the game within. I think they lost by five or excuse me, they won by five. But, hey, they almost lost that, tricked that off because they kept turning the ball over. And it was it got close. It got close. But again, the whole thing behind it was you had a hostile environment. Clemens came in there and took care of business and won. Um, the great part of it all is both teams played well. You had a lot of great basketball players just doing their best. I will make sure everyone knows that they don't know already that a young man last name is Williams, I believe. Uh, Elijah Williams, number zero. He's a special player. Um, six six got to the cup whenever he wanted to. Um, they made it hard for him. They started double teaming him, started make, making it hard for him. But as far as playing in open court, uh, it's not too many guys his size to play the way he does. Right. He right. gets to the basket with ease. And 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 the great part is Thursday, they're actually in the Alamo City uh, Hoops Classic at Steel, and they'll be having games there. And I get to watch them again, so I, I get to make sure my eye test was right. Cause that young man, hey, he played. Yeah, he played. Uh, Corbett, Corbin, uh, uh, the young man from uh, TMI. Oh, he's man, he played so solid, solid player. The young Bowen, he did his thing too. They just didn't have enough firepower. They just didn't. The shots wasn't falling, so it allowed them to uh, lose lose a game that they had a chance to win. And and again, uh, just watching all that and just seeing kids and the fans, it was a great environment. Right. It was a great environment, and I wish more games of that caliber can happen in the city right well, i'm gonna go i'm gonna back up to okay the, go ahead to the preseason rankings I, I i'm okay with the preseason okay rankings, coach because i mean like we said even on that show when you first brought out the preseason rankings these this is a fluid ranking and they have i mean every team on the list and the team's not on the list you have everything under your own control right, right. i mean so i mean obviously you know if you come out there and handle business every game or you know most games you're going to end up somewhere on this on this 25 top 25 rankings where you want to see yourself but if you don't perform or your players don't your team doesn't perform well you got work to do and you can earn your way back on i mean it's no reason to worry about it because like uh like we were talking about earlier if you're going to be playing against teams on this list and you go handle business on this list you're going to end up where you want to be Right, and this is a more of a power rankings anyway. Yes, it's not. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. at the same time you got six A's and five A's and four A's and mm -hmm. three A's all mingling. But at the same time, for me, I just wanted to show the Dallas's and the Houston's that hey man, don't worry about us. We good, you know. Keep us off those lists, and at the same time, because we 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 got to start within first. Right. right. We got to make sure we take care of our guys here. And again, you know, you have the schools that's going to play outside of here. That's doing a great job representing. You got the Brennans, you got the Antonians, you got the Harlands, mm -hmm. you got the Judsons. Yeah. Those guys, they go out and they play. They do a great job. They right. do a phenomenal job. But I don't think they get the love and the support from the Max Preps sometimes because Max Preps leaves them off. 
And now, I'm a, yeah. TABC does a great job yeah. of host and making sure they own the rankings. But Max Preps, you know, them being the the major um, site to follow everything, I think they get it wrong. Right. And it's, and it's because it's computer based. So you're using a lot of analytics to mm-hmm. say who's good and who's not, which, you know, come on, man. In the few short weeks, or I guess it's only been about a week, right? Yes, it's been a full week. Well, no, has it really? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, because we started, uh, we, we put the preseason out no, last I'm say, week. I'm saying the games, the live games. Yeah, it's, started last it week. started last Friday, right? Yes. yes so it hasn't even been, been a full week. Right. And, you know, I've been able to watch a, a few of these teams play. Like Brandeis, I see them. They're making their appearance at number 12, right? Yeah, so um, the crazy part is they lost the steal, though. They lost the steal. So with them losing the steal, that changes their number already well wait a second but they lost to the number three team yeah. so 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 yeah, you, how bad did they lose it uh oh let's look let's look, let's look i mean because i mean to me if you, if you lose to the number three team by nine lost by nine by nine you see i mean it's nah, that's a big that's a big loss uh, it's not double digits. okay okay yeah, well, i mean but anyway i mean they, should, they got some nice players lose. Yeah, you can't lose. I, I get you make it. the hey, listen. You make the rankings. You can't lose. You gotta remember that. Yeah, yeah. So you, you're fighting for something now. Now yeah. we're making. See, we're, we're we're you know the fact that we're giving you skin in the game now, because now you 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 have a reason to have cameras on you. Now you have reason for us to follow you and make sure you're taking care of business. Mm-hmm. So think about it. We show up in there. You know, you got you got um you got court side. They show up at a, at, a, at a venue. They're looking at our rankings, saying, hey. This is supposed to be this game, this game. They're valuing that. You got all day. Right. They're valuing that. And you got me. I'm valuing what we're doing. Right. So if we're valuing what, what our rankings say, hey man, you got to show up. Yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't, yeah. you can't take no nights off. Because yeah. if I'm correct, that game against Brandeis was uh was in was in Brandeis, it, right? It was, was at it, uh, it, was at, it was at Paul Taylor Fieldhouse. Yeah, so see, that's are, a yeah, that's a northeast ISD school, right? Uh, a, a site rather, right? No, that's a north north side. Yeah, north side yeah. site. See, there you go. Yeah. So, with that being a north side site, hey man, you got to take care of your business. You take your handle the home court, right? Exactly. Same thing with um, with uh, Wagner going all the way to um, to Harlan. They actually played in Harlan, and Harlan doesn't have any home games district wise. So, mm-hmm. non district, they can have home games. So, with them, you know, hosting that game, hey man, you picked the wrong time to sit some kids out, and kids get sick and. Not right. be able to play, right? Hey, because that affects affects you being number. I think we had him at number four. What we got Harlan at six. Yeah, that, that's going to change. Yep, that's going to change. You're not going to be there no more. Even though you lost to a number five team, you still got to slide a little bit. You know, the electric slide. Yeah, no, no. Uh, but I was going to say uh, Brandeis though. Going back to Brandeis, they got a couple. Uh, they got a couple nice players out there. Oh, they got, they got uh, Sean, uh, Sean Tisdale. Yes, yes. Yeah, man, I watched him play against O'Connor. Yep. That guy can play. Man. Yeah. Oh, that, that, guy, that, whole, guy, that guy can hoop. I and, think, what, three three or four of those kids on that team got offers from University of Dallas, if I'm correct? Yeah, like, it's like three of those guys on that team. Well, it's a combination, though, isn't it? Are you yeah. talking about the SA Hoops Elite? Boys? Yes. Okay, yes. so some of those boys play on O'Connor and some of them right, play. That's what I'm so, yeah, yeah. so that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, so you got what? Finley Montoya. Finley. Uh, you got Sean. an offer. Yeah. Sean. There's one more kid on that team. I think Evan, Evan, Evan Herrera, I think, might have gotten one. Okay. He's at O'Connor. I, I, can't, I don't know where he got well, it. I just know that whole group off of uh, SA Hoops Elite got offered to go to the same school, which <laughs> I think was special for those guys because they wanted to see that team continue to play. Right. So um, that was, I mean, but that that kid, uh, Sean Tizdo, uh, that's he can shoot. He can just play. I, I wouldn't even say he can shoot. No, he can shoot. He can shoot. No, too. no, no. But that to me, that would be insulting to him to really? say he can shoot because he can. He can play. He can play. He can play. It, it's just not. So I'm shooting. insulting by saying he's he's a great shooter first. No, I mean, I was just I'm saying. Just saying I'm, I'm not going to say you're going. insulting anybody. Hey, my bad. But hey, but, listen. but but but, hey. he, but he can play. He's got no, no, he can game. play. He can he's play, but. Game. I was impressed by him. Yes, he has he has a, a great game to where though he's gonna get where he wants. It's yes, like he does. Have you ever seen well, of course you've seen Luca play. You yes, saw Larry Bird a, play growing up. He like has a very he, he disguised his speed. How 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 can this guy get to his spot yes. every single time? The speed and changes he and he has a great pace. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. he does. He has I, all those things. I but, noticed that about him hey, the, the other night. It's like he just gets to his spot. When he's on fire, though, shooting the basketball, and that's what make to me that's what makes a Brandeis a Brandeis. When they shoot the ball well, it's hard to defend, mm-hmm. and that's that's what you're going to you're going to get from that group. Stop that first, mm-hmm. and then allow them to do what you're talking about. Right. But again, but you allow them to shoot the ball and space the floor. That team is all about space. 
you let them get those shots off from anywhere on the floor, you're in trouble. You're going to have a long day. So um, did you catch some games yesterday? Are we, uh, Mike and I were both uh, we were both at the O'Connor uh, Johnson game. Okay. And how was that? Because Johnson, Johnson's up there. And they took a, Johnson, a tumble. Johnson had a rough night shooting the ball. You know, right. I, I had Johnson. I was really – I'm still high on Johnson. I think Johnson can – you know, with the talent, the talent group they have, I think they can. They're going to get it all together. John, really they had face. a tough night shooting the ball. They had a lot of good looks. I mean, mm-hmm. they just, I mean, they just couldn't find the bottom of the net last night. I, I think they're going to be okay because I think they're going to end up. Those shots are going to start falling. Right, right, right. I don't know if they were tight or what, but they, they just, they just didn't. They, they weren't finding the bottom of the net, and they had a lot of wide open, you know, good looks from the perimeter. They just couldn't knock them down. Uh, O'Connor, though, I mean, they get those let's say hoops elites boy, like you're talking about, uh, uh Evan Herrera, Jackson Schultz, and Tristan White. Those mm-hmm. guys, those guys are for real, man. Those, those guys, it's gonna be fun to watch them play this year. So, I we had, uh, you know, as you, you know, on the list right now, we got Johnson there, but man, Johnson took some tough losses too. They lost to y'all. Whoa. And they lost to Clemens. With your criteria, though, I mean, they're going to have to slide because like, yeah, like they, last, slide. they don't let you slide too. Like, they slide on out there too. Yeah, like last night, I was watching and I was like, "Wow!" But guess, I mean, but I, guess I'm, I'm booging. They, guess who's booging their way back in? Yeah. Connor's booging their way back in because uh, we had them off, as you see on the list right now. We had them off, and they're going to find their way back on there. You know, because again, it was a good, it was a good win for O'Connor. They beat it. They beat the number. Was it 15? fifteen? It was a good win for O'Connor. Yeah, but I, I got it. But I am not going to discount Johnson. No, because those those shots, you could just tell. I mean, those shots are going to fall. They're going to start falling at some point. It just wasn't last night. Last night was a tough night for him. District play again. This was all. This is why it's a power ranking is leading up to district play. Because once district play starts, you know. Um, you, you kind of you you're tighten that rotation. Well, not just that, but you you shrink what we have on the board. That's what I mean. You're gonna tighten the yeah, rotation. Yeah, yeah. You got 25, but the 25 really matters now because at the same time, you don't you don't play as many games. Uh, uh, you know, in in district for some teams because again, you got 30. You know, you got roughly I think it's allowed like 30 games before the playoffs. So you got to get you know you can get 30 games in, but you have to get so many district games in too. So with the district like uh, uh, the one Wagner's in, I think it's 28, I believe. They have nine teams in that district. Play 18. So that's 18 or no, 17. Was it? No, 16, 16 games. 16 district games. Yeah. That's 16 district games. It's a lot of games, man. That's a lot of games. Well, um, did we lose Mike? There was a lot of sirens. I don't know if he's getting yeah, chased. Think- he's in a white Bronco or, or, or what. But- OJ? <laughs> Okay, really, really, Richard. <laughs> so that's why you, you're not gonna you're not hear it. <laughs> and you wonder why we lose our subscribers. Huh? It's not the right chance, <laughs> the bad jokes. It's the no, because I can't say that it's the bad cowboy jokes because uh, this is a city of the of, of the cowboys. And um, like I said, next I'm just gonna fill space right next now, show so. with these bright lights. I'm gonna have to bring my blenders. You're gonna have to bring your blenders. I'm gonna have to be my, are, my prime, my coach prime blenders. Coach prime. Do you think it's right that they're not in the um, in the uh, the rankings of of the, uh, the the top twelve yet? I think it lists like sixteen. Well, the thing is, it's it, the college football playoff is just like Super Sports Media rankings. High basketball rankings. Yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, it's a fluid thing, and if you do, if you stack enough wins on top of each other, you're gonna end up in. You just like you just like if you're talking about Colorado, you, you just can't mess around and lose to one of these little big 12 teams because then that that knocks you out just like you're talking about um who, who are we talking about right now johnson you, yeah johnson you, you mess around and lose too many yeah. too many games, you, many get, games. you get knocked down correct uh you know o'connor they they started off in your rankings and th- now they're not in your they're rankings not. Th- now they but might creep, they might they are back in. i'm telling you gonna to, be back to in the little back end there. of it yeah so it, it's just we didn't uh have the the uh, illustration and everything ready for the show. So I didn't, I needed to get this out because I want to make sure everybody knew this is going to change. But again, we're going to try to, you know, our job and our is on purpose is to make this as fluid as we can and get it out as often as we can. But at the end of the day, so every Wednesday yeah, and every Sunday, 
the end of the, the day, going out. Th- none of these rankings matter until February. Oh, no, it's, it matters. It matters all the way up to district. It matters all the way. Oh, yeah. Fe- February, the, where you're ranked at the end of February, those are those are the ones that are going to play February and March. Well, that's true, too. You, we, know, you only have what? Well, that's not, that's not, that's no, not, you're saying like, that's not knocking the, the rankings. That's, no. talk, that's no, talking, that's talking to the talking kids. About, hey, that's talking to the kids that don't see their, their school up here. Yeah. The kids that don't see your school up here, you might not be here right now. And that's okay. Yeah. If, if you're yeah. up here in February, February 12th, uh, things are going good for you. Things are going real good for yeah. you. Listen, hey, yeah. if you get to, di- you get the middle of district and your, your school is up here. Hey man, keep doing what you're doing. Keep handling your business, especially mm-hmm. if you're not on here now. And that's one thing I wanted to make sure I want to give a, a shout out to my guys in courtside. Um, they made sure that we had the, uh, the, the, the tap schools on there. Cause I left the tap schools off. Originally I had nothing but UIL teams. Mm-hmm. And they were like, no, that's unfair because you have, you know, great schools. And right now it's, it's, it's a school that's trending. And I'm gonna make sure we it's on our watch list and it's not Holy Cross, no disrespect to Holy Cross, but it is uh central Catholic. Central Catholic is taking care of business. Now there, again, they haven't lost a game and they're making sure they playing the teams that people are talking about. I'm talking about as far as the 5A guys, your Southwest legacies, your Southwest, your Bernie champions. They're making sure they see these guys. Mm-hmm. And they're not just making these, not adding them to the list, just to, to the schedule just because. No, they're adding quality games to make sure when they go into district play, mm-hmm. they're ready. Yeah. They're ready because they got a tough district. Yeah. And so uh, Holy Cross, you know, they, you know, they making some noise over there saying, hey, they got their coach on Facebook saying, hey, man, what about us? What about us? Hey, man, that's not how you do it. Right, right. But, hey, we're watching you. And, you know, we're going to – I'm going to back off of the rankings for a second right mm-hmm. now since we're talking about non-UIL teams. Okay. Uh, Coach uh, John Valenzuela, he's at uh, Castle Hills Baptist right now. Okay. Uh, he got win number 700 oh, last, awesome. last night. That's awesome. uh, he's been uh, He's been at Madison, uh, and he, he's been at Sachs. Um, and he joins uh, Charlie Boggess, yep. Rudy Bernal, yep. Joe Cortez, Wayne Dickey, Stan Leach, and Stan Bonowitz in the 700 Club. And real quick, shout out to all the coaches. Hey, man, that's the kind of stuff that I would love to be at your games and support you on. Again, I supported Coach Hall when he won his 500 game <laughs> out there, and um, he was actually at his uh, at, at his uh, his stadium there or his, his location. Harlan had a game. It was a non-district game, and he won his 500 game. Mm-hmm. So that's the kind of stuff I would love to support, Super Sports Media. Mm-hmm. We do come out. We try to – you know, present you a plaque on your, you know, whatever win you you you, you receive because right. to me that's important. Yep. And you know, yes, it's about the kids and making sure that we take care of the kids, but it's also about the coaches too, and and ensuring that we give them their kudos because again, they have a selfless job. Right. And I tell that to every coach that I interview, you have a selfless job, and thank right. you for doing what you're doing because mm-hmm. you're turning young people into adults. Yep. So. So congrats. Shout out. Congrats, Coach Val. So who did he beat, by the way, to get it to get that seven hundred win? Does it say? Doesn't say. What school? Might, again? It's, uh, Castle Hills uh, Baptist. Castle Hills. Castle Hills. I just saw the alert. Come no, on. that's that's that's, hey, that's that's dope right there. That's the stuff that we need to make sure. Seven hundred club. We give guys uh, Amish about you know like hey man we're watching. He was like I said he was at uh, Madison and you know. Sacks. Yeah, man, it's not coming up. Well, anyway, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll make sure we give him a shout out the, the proper way. But uh, I guess we lost Mike. So, do you have anything coming up? I know we have. Uh, I mentioned already the Alamo City Hoops Classic next uh, this week. It starts Thursday, which is tomorrow, and also next week we have the Southside Tournament. So that's on the 21st to 23rd. What about yourself? Man, um, uh, just gonna continue to to watch the schedule for those north side teams. Um th- that's gonna be a handful right there with you know Harlan, Brandon, you know, those two obviously are up there and everybody else kind of jockeying for for that third and fourth uh, playoff position. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a dog fight. So um, but try to get out to one of those tournaments this weekend as well. Like I said, uh, I know O'Connor is going to be at the Magnolia Invitational. That's out in Houston. 
Uh, so, but I won't be going to Houston this weekend. Ah, that's tough. <laughs> I need some rest. That's tough. Nothing wrong with that. I'm I'm wrong with that. I, I, you know what I said? I wasn't going to do any traveling like that this year either. Um, for well, for me, I did too much for this AAU past season, and my checkbook won't allow me right now. Did a, did a few home improvements. So yeah, well, my checkbook's I'll, real tight. I won't be traveling that much until the upcoming tournament season myself. Okay. So, which is March. <laughs> Yeah, March, March, late okay. March. Okay. Yeah, so uh, so I'm gonna try to get as much rest as I can because, as you know, from March through you know up into August. Yeah, we going. It's yeah. Yeah, full tilt there, and it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. Well, hey, look, man, thank you again. Um, we, we uh, Mike had to sign off. I know he has. He's in between some stuff, but again, uh, continue watching. This was a shorter show. It was done on purpose like this. Um, we're in the, the the beginning of the high school uh, basket boys basketball season, and again, for me, I'm excited about it because this is what this is what I I live for. Mm -hmm. This is the part of uh, why I wanted to make sure I get involved in the media, and I kind of just continue to help out and put as much exposure on the teams and the schools and the players as we can do. And so that's my this is my way of. Hey man, I'm finding my happiness, and this is this is my happiness. So, I thank you, I thank Michael, I thank the fans and and all the families and the players that support us. Please continue. And uh, as far as a final thought, I'll let you go ahead well, and leave first. Well, thank the thank the coaches, thank the players for. I said players. Did you say players already? I did I didn't say coaches though? But thank I thank all, the fans. Thank thank all of them because without the coaches and players, we don't got nothing to talk about. That's true, and referees. <laughs> Yeah, referees. I know the referees. I mean, seen some interesting refs out there, but very okay. much so. Very much so. <laughs> but one thing I am seeing. Go ahead. Is it's 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 fair in my opinion. It's been fairly consistent on both ends of the court. I haven't seen anything. You know, a lot of parents and stuff like to complain about. Of course, about that. It would be no it, other way. Whether they're they're making good calls or making questionable calls, it's on both sides of the court. Correct. So. That's all you can ask for. So let's get a final thought. Let's get out of here. Final thought. Don't worry too much about these rankings, kids. I mean, and the, talking to the kids, because the kids are going to be the ones that are that are tuning in and watching. They're the ones that go to uh, YouTube. Um, some of the kids that might play at, like you, you just talked about Holy Cross a minute ago. If you play at Holy Cross and you're not on the list, um, you got a whole season in front of you. Um, and you're looking at this top 25, you're going to – see different player rankings and school rankings throughout the season. We say it every week and we're going to say it again. You got to run your own race. Don't worry about the next guy. Don't worry about the next school. Uh, run your own race. It'll, it'll make you a lot happier. Um, a lot less stressful to run your own race. Do take care of the things you can control and things will work out for you in the end. Don't worry about your rival school being up there or what, or a player that you may be a rival of, you know, don't worry about that. Run your own race. That's very important for these kids to hear. Okay. Uh, one thing, uh, early in the season, uh, goal setting. Uh, set goals. Set goals of this season for you. And, you know, last week I talked to the guys sitting on the bench and, and wanting to get more playing time and doing those things. Now I'm talking to all players. Hey, set goals for this season. Set some benchmarks that you – how you, you – want to see yourself and where you want to see yourself by the end of the year and try to obtain those goals. Make sure you let your coach know what goals and your parents know what goals you have and your players, what goals you have, because at the same time, it takes a team, it takes a village. It takes everyone to help you obtain those things. So do that on purpose. Um, that's one of the first things, especially as a young player to allow yourself to get to the next level. You have to, you have to put things in place. You have to say these things and write them down and make sure you know where you're trying to get to. Mm -hmm. So by setting some goals for this season will allow you to get to where you need to be at. If things, especially if things are not going your way, if you're the fifth man that's getting the ball on that rotation, don't worry about it. Set goals to where though by the end of the season or by the first quarter to where the district, district starts, you're the third guy or you're the second guy receiving the basketball, or you're the guy bringing the basketball up the court. But again, set some goals for yourself to allow yourself to get better, improve, and to be where you're trying to get to. 
That's the only way you're going to get there. You don't set any goals. You just say, I want to do, I want to do. It sounds really, really good. But until you write it down and you let everybody know what you're trying to attain, you won't get there. Okay. So they have to embrace the process too, because you got to still put in work on your own. You do, you do, but you got to, you got to write these things down and make sure you, it's, it's almost like manifesting them. If you don't say them, you don't do them, it won't happen. So if you don't put the hard work in and you don't sit there and make sure, Hey, I want to be the number one assist kid. If you don't write that down, then how are you going to be the number one assist kid? If you don't talk to coach and let coach know, Hey, I want to be number one assist kid, but I'm the last guy coming off the bench. So write your goals down, put them in your wallet, carry them there around you with you. Yeah. Make sure you, again, make sure you know, and others know what your goals, especially your head coach. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, Hey man, go ahead and take us home. All right. Y'all know the drill. Be kind to each other. It doesn't cost a dime. I'm kind to him. He's kind to me. And we haven't paid a dime for that. Right? Right. All right. We're out. Out.